Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna continue building my new website uh, using bricks. Um, I'm using a lot of a class name for a customized uh, element, and if you did, if you confused uh, about how do I get a class name, where do I store that? You can check my videos about uh, this simple tool to generate class name for beginner. It's free tool from uh, in Git at GitHub, and it's it it is really simple. You can create your own CSS framework. It's not mine. Uh, it's made by other people, but uh, you can use it on your project. So um, the tricky part f uh, of building a new website is you will have. Uh, many many layout for a loop so if we um, take a look at example here um, we have one layout for query loop we have here two and maybe we have here the, the image on the left and the on the title on the right and we have the three uh, post uh, three column of posts and we have here a list with um, counter number and we have yeah, yeah we here the, t the the only the list with only title and and the meta field and yeah m uh, here we have two two posts a uh, two column of a, a loop, a post loop, and yeah, this the tricky part is, is is uh, multiple, a lot of uh, layout query, but some sometime or uh, maybe we'll find um, the layout uh, here, uh, the big image or the big uh, the big the big item loop on the left and on the right we have a two um, small a post item which um, take a half of the height of the wrapper here um, so I'm gonna use a grid CSS grid to create this uh, layout so the plan is I'm gonna use a grid column and the grid row uh, properties as you can see, you can uh, read on cssreference.io and it's really cool, I think we need to write our, all our own CSS just a little bit but we can achieve something like this so the plan is, I'm gonna use a three uh, column so it's one, two, three so this part is, I uh, will use a two column and this part is will use a one column so it's one two three one two three and then for the uh, draw I will use two to row so this this um, small uh, post on the top will use one row and the second editor the, the second post on the small post on the bottom will use one row too so it will become like this so the first thing is um, let's add the section and um, let's add padding and then let's add a div um, the div and we will have another div with query loop enable and let's set the post to 3 and then let's add some image okay here and for now i will use the the image which i define not using a dynamic data because it will slow if you build a, a larger a large or many query loop on one page it will slow down i think i have i i have uh, many experience um, getting slow uh, getting lagging getting lag slow down 
on the builder so um, by using this default image and of course I will change it later to dynamic data which is feature image um, the load speed is very much uh, reduced okay so we have a three pause here and then what I need to do is I'm gonna add some class name here so let's say um, um, post um, post what is post layout oh loop layout let's say loop layout a loop layout a okay and just save it and let's refresh on the front end okay we have three here three posts so it's one two and three yeah two in the, but in, the, in the bottom okay cool so we have three posts and then um we're gonna start by let's debug let's create our CSS first um display grid and then grid template columns one one fr one f i forget the fr is 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 fracture or fragment uh, you can you can uh, uh, read on a blog or the website the definition is fr on a css grid okay grid one mm, yep that's cool and then open your uh, editor and let's put uh, our css uh, you can use uh, you can use the inbuilt wordpress uh, file editor or you can use um, software code editor like uh, me visual code and change the style on the a style sheet file on the temp child oops okay. so what's the name of the class name loop layout a okay loop layout a okay and then this is the first child of the mm, loop so let's say okay here Okay, I'm gonna use the grid grid call. Where is the grid call here? Grid call, grid row, grid call, grid column. Ah, sorry, sorry, not grid call, but grid column. So grid column one, three, span three. The grid item start before the first column and end just before. I'm gonna use here. The grid start before the first column and span four four columns so I'm gonna use this copy and then uh, let's target the first child the first child of this element loop layout a hmm you can wait anything we want first child where is the first child okay grid column one span two because I only want to to make uh, like 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 I said um, here I need I only need two uh, span to two column and this two for one column again um, oops let's see we okay. oh what is that alright alright <laughs> okay one span two and then this thing this thing and oh yeah I need to make this uh, since I need to have uh, two row here two row so it's eh? Yeah, why? So, oops. 
so one row two row so i need to make this element span into a uh, row two so let's make um, where is this okay here the first child create row one span oh one span two again okay nice <coughs> okay cool and let's copy here oops yep something like this and let's reload okay nice um i need some little space so i need to add some gap so let's add a gap mm, maybe 16 or 32 okay okay cool uh, is that right oh uh, yeah yeah i think it's i think it's enough mm, yep 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 all right and we're gonna make it responsive so from uh, maybe from this do i oh yeah from this or 700 yeah i think on 700 the two the two um wait oh here the two post here should um, move to the below and it will and create a two column of posts so um, one post here and then one post here so let's um go uh, create a media query css and i have make it one so max with 700 so i think i will put it here so let's um, um let's change on here first and then we copy to the uh, to the actual uh, css file so with one one fr one fr and then i need to change this to here yeah like this i think yep yep so the only thing i need to change is here this this class name of uh, the, the the value of these properties so let's put here loop layout a and here so let's reload all right nice okay i think that's cool okay yep so using grid is really um fun you know i i i always watch um if you wanna learn css uh, i'm not promoting this guy but I, I need to share with you it's it, this guy is Kevin Powell I I, I, I learned a lot uh, about CSS Flexbox or grid um, but by him by re by watching his YouTube it's very he's very uh, good at, at explain something so if you if you're beginner beginner like me um, who start uh, uh, learning CSS uh, you can watch uh, his videos or other youtuber or or maybe you can uh, um, visit uh, the website uh, like cssstricks.com or something else yeah anyway um yeah if you wonder why why on the boiler is like this yeah because i need to reload it first so the css the, the css we added will take an effect on the builder <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I think this is enough. Just a little bit. Um. A little bit maybe useful tips for you, especially for the beginner. So, um, if you have any question or suggestion or critic about the content of my video, please write on the comment uh, box below. Thank you for watching. Happy weekend and happy coding. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.